So Tom, we know that LinkedIn has become not only a professional and networking and job search opportunity, but also a place of personal brand and everything is there. And I, you share your personal life also about your kids, what's happening there. So in that sense, there are a lot of new students or immigrants that they don't know how to use LinkedIn. We met on LinkedIn. We don't know each other, but we built that relationship. We network and now we are here. So how can they use LinkedIn? What are the top four places they need to have to look at? It? One of the first things I would do is I would make sure that I, I have a completed profile. Yeah. Because as people come to me, and if I don't see a picture, if I don't see a banner, if I see that they don't comment or anything, it makes people so I'm sure the profile is completed. A good example, come take a look at mine. And if you are looking for work, I'm more than happy to have, give you a profile review. But that's something that you really need to go and do. Yes. Um, I, I, I'll take a look at recruiters and people who write resumes. Anybody who's in the job search process, that helped me the extra bit of edge well too. And I, I do have quite a few recruiter friends and it's just, it, it helps to have that. Yes. To give you that mentality of, what are they thinking about from that side of things? Mm -hmm. So I do talk about personal, my personal life on there to an extent. I do talk about being a parent and, and having to, I have to be crying on the floor because I was so exhausted. And it's something I do for myself yeah. because that's my personality. But it's also, if people are going to work with me, they get to know a little bit about who I am. And yeah. this is where it really helps with your personal brand. Now, some people take personal branding as, oh, it's all colors, logos, skins. Yeah. But it's how you make people feel. Mm -hmm. That's the key element is how mm -hmm. you're making people feel and how people talk about you when you're not around. Yes. That will be the difference. Yeah. And so, yes, colors and logos will help. And um, my branding colors are pink and blue. I'm not wearing today. That's why I, I wore pink today. Had a that's why I wore uh, pink yes. today. And I was I was waiting. Why is not wearing pink? Why is not wearing pink today? <laughs> but that's fantastic. Like and that's a perfect example right there. If you're thinking, hey, hey, Tom usually wears pink. Oh, I have back. Oh, you some of the <laughs> yeah. But um I, I talk about my mustache quite often. That's become part of my brand. Yes. Um my brand is 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 being silly and having fun. Yeah. So these are really important parts. And what's the first question you get asked when people, when you're in an interview or so tell me about yourself, tell me about yourself. Yeah. Right. And this is one of the questions that people muck up all the time. And they're like, ah, um, I, I, I work in accounting and, and that's it. <laughs> and it's like, but, but it's you talk, talk about who you are. Yeah. You start doing that on LinkedIn. You get really good about career posts that are talking about yourself people will get to know you and then they meet you they're like oh i feel like i already know no. you no. and that's because of and that's the power of linkedin and social media and being able to talk about yourself yeah. and if you can't there if you can't do it in an interview which you're going to be doing lots of them you're yeah. going to have a bit of a struggle so start doing it there and, and practice have fun with it yeah and that's that's all related to personal branding and in terms of linkedin do you have any tips in terms of the headliner and the about section what they should talk what what let's start with the headliner what they can show yeah. is there any formula that they can use so for the headline this is really 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 important and the worst thing you could ever do is just put in looking for work Yes. You know, I don't know what you're looking for. You put in, even looking for work in accounting. Now you're at least giving me something. But usually what I did is when I was looking for work, the job title I was looking for, mm. that's what I would put in my headline. That way, if recruiters are looking for you, they can find you. They're not going to find you if you have to look at work. It's all about those keywords, yes. Yep. And then... The reason why it's important too is I can't remember how many characters. I think it's I'm going to say about 140 characters, and the first 140 are visible. Yeah. yeah. And so, as I comment on other people's posts, they see part of it. And it has, uh, 
unleashing your networking experience or, or, or something along those lines. So I'm getting people's attention right away. Yes. If you have looking for work, it's not going to get that attention. You have something that talks about who you are, yes. real powerful words right off the bat. People are going to see that. It can be part of your brand. But really make sure your, your headline stands out, especially when you're going to be going out commenting on other people's posts. Yes. For the about section, a couple of different things that you can do. Add your personality to it mm-hmm. and make sure it's in the first person because resumes are always that distant, uh, blah, 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 blah. But with the um, uh, the about section, yeah. talk about yourself as if you were talking to that person right now. Mm-hmm. Tell me a little bit about who you are and you can add a little bit of your personality. You can add a little bit of your personal story. Yes. As much as you're comfortable with, as much as you're comfortable with, if you think, oh, this might be a little bit too much, then, then get rid of that. Yeah. And don't say that, oh, I like to go out on Friday night and have a bunch of beers. It's not going to look very well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. if, if you say like, hey, I, I, on the weekends, I like to go hiking or I like to go to art galleries. Hey, that's that's you can give them to talk about when we're in that interview. So think about that element of it. Yeah. Now, another important part is just, um, yeah, put in a little bit of your work, but don't rehash your whole entire yeah. resume. I, I don't want to see that uh, I worked here from here to here. No, that's there's other sections for that. You might put one, two testimonials in there. Um, more, and then more other things you can put in is you can put accomplishments. Yeah, accomplishments, uh, anything like that can help but don't overdo it this is not a spot to rehash your res- your yeah. resume this is more of a spot to talk about who you are and very quick get some of this already be answered and then instead of maybe them asking you tell me about yourself they might be like hey so i saw in your about section on linkedin that you did this can yeah. you tell me a little bit more about that yeah. that way we can change that topic just slightly right Those are great tips, Son. Thank you very much. And again, I apologize for some technical uh, difficulties, but again, we're hearing you, uh, Tom. Again, for the audience watching, if you have any other tips on terms of LinkedIn, please leave them below. And tune next time for another great question with Tom.